Hello, I'm, I'm Gates Lees, and I'm a good friend of the late, great Oscar Huelos. I knew him for so many years. It is rare when you know a writer through his work and like him even more in person. Writers are really not very nice people. I know many, many writers. Most writers write because they don't communicate in other ways so well. Oscar was a rare exception. He was a beautiful writer and a beautiful person. He was a sweet person. His writing is, is, is even, he's not, not damning of his characters. His characters are sweet nature. They're kindly people. They're understanding. They're patient. They're tolerant. And all those things were true of Oscar Huelos. I so treasure my, my friendship, my relationship with him, and my respect for him that endures to this day almost almost 10 years since he died. I knew all of, his, all of his novels. I read everything he wrote and sometimes read it twice for double the admiration. I'm just going to read a little bit from Mambo King's in, in a moment. But um, it was, yes, it was a Pulitzer book, but I don't think it was any better than all his other books. He, was, he had a high level of performance. Uh, Oscar did not give you bad work. What he published was his very best, and what is what his very best was the very best. So now we're going to read a little bit from Mambo Kings. The brothers walked out in white suits and with guitar and trumpet, bowed to the audience, and nodded when Ricky Ricardo faced the orchestra and holding a wand, prepared to begin asking them, Are you ready? The older brother strummed an A minor chord the key of the song. A harp swirled in as if it were the clouds of heaven. And then the basses began to play habanera. And then the piano and horns played a four chord vamp. Standing side by side before the microphone, brows creased in concentration, expression sincere, the brothers began to sing that romantic bolero, Beautiful Maria of My Soul. A song about love so far away it hurts. A song about lost pleasures. A song about youth, a song about love so elusive a man can never know where he stands, a song about wanting a woman so much death does not frighten you, a song about wanting that woman even when she has abandoned you. As Caesar sang, his vocal cords trembling, he seemed to be watching something profoundly beautiful and painful happening in the distance, eyes passionate, imploring, his earnest expression asking, can you see who I am? But the younger brother's eyes were closed and his head was tilted back. He looked like a man on the verge of falling through an eternal bliss of longing and solitude. Thank you, Oscar Huelos.